Welcome or welcome back at any help at Cisco. In this example, we need to graph the solution set of this following system of inequality. And you notice we have four inequality. I'm going to start with the easy one. The first one is x greater or equal zero. So as you remember, x equals zero is the uh, y-axis. And I'm going to, it's going to be a full line. And x greater or equal zero, the inequality we have to graph means these uh, sets of points in the uh, in this uh, rectangular grid. And then we're going to move to the next one which is y greater or equal 0, which is very similar. I'm going to graph y equals 0 first, which is this blue line, the x-axis. And the solution set are going to be all these numbers that are on top of this blue line. And you notice by doing this, uh, two inequalities I already have uh, as a solution set only the points that are in quadrant one but well, we have two more we have uh, the first one 3x plus 7y less or equals 56 and for graphing this I will solve for y so I'm going to subtract 3x first, and I will have uh, 7y less or equals negative 3x plus 56, and I'm going to divide by 7. And the inequality becomes y less or equal negative 3 over 7x. Uh, plus 56 divided by 7 is 8. So basically I'm going to grab the uh, equality which tells me I have to go to these 8, right, this y-intercept. Then I'm going to go 3 down, 1, 2, 3 down, and 7 right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm going to be right here. And having these two points, I can graph the equality. Which is this green line. And because the sign is less or equal, I'm going to shade it under this line. And you already notice you have a bunch of shadings here can be confusing and guess what we have to do one more one more graph which is so we did this one which is the second one 5x plus 3y uh, less or equals 50 uh, let's solve for y also here so we're gonna have uh, subtract 5x on both sides and we have uh, 3y less or equals negative 5x plus 50 and divide by 3 we get a y less or equals uh, negative 5 over 3x plus 50 over 3 which is not a very friendly y-intercept so I'm not going to use uh, that y-intercept of 50 over 3 but if you notice if I make y equals 0 here and the equation I end up with 5x equals 50 which is going to give me x equals 10 so that will be the x-intercept which uh, for this equation will be uh, 10 and 0. That will be somewhere, let's say, right here. 
and we're gonna need one more point to graph this uh, equation and for that reason I'm gonna look uh, to find a friendly point like let's say uh, x equal 7 so we have y equals negative 5x plus 50 over 3 I think uh, 7 will be a good one if I make x equals 7 in this y form I'm gonna get negative 5 times 7 plus 50 over 3 and that will be uh, negative 15 plus 50 that will be um, I'm sorry in fact negative 35 plus 50 that will be 15 over 3 which is 5 so we get this point 7 and 5 a friendly point which I'm gonna plot it that will be uh, is gonna be exactly here so we have we have the last graph and again this will be shaded also under the black line and again more shading like I said so I know the picture can get confusing but the most important thing you want to take a look is this intersection point this is one this is a second one the third one is right here and the fourth one will be zero and zero if you notice that is what we call the solution set for this inequality system of inequality is this polygon right here and that's it this is the solution set for this inequality where all the shadings uh, overlap uh, and I know like I said the picture is not a very friendly one you can see a another one here uh, there you go and uh, that this is the solution set anything in this region is a solution for this for inequality sometimes you can hear this name feasible region if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.